So I just got my first big deal credit card in the mail. I've had a few credit cards for a few years now since living in San Antonio. But I got the first big deal credit card in the mail today. I want to get an electric guitar, a cheap one. I'm talking pawn shop. I want to go in a pawn shop and get an electric guitar and an amp. I had a guitar a few years ago. I pawned it before moving to San Francisco. But before I pawned it, I learned G minor. And so I want to get a guitar, keep it, learn some chords, learn some songs. I need a filling in one of my teeth. So go to the dentist. I want to take my son to New York so he can see some Pollocks in person. I named my son after Jackson Pollock. And I want to take him to Serendipity to get frozen hot chocolate. And take him to Trump Tower so we can spit on it. And I want to take him to Central Park to see Strawberry Fields and the Alice in Wonderland water fountain. Maybe ride the carousel. Go to the Strand. And Blue Stockings on Allen Street and see where CBGB's used to be and go to the Chelsea. So if you live in New York and you're interested in meeting me, hearing me read my books, let me know. The idea is to go to New York on a business trip. I would ideally go to some venue and read excerpts from Bullshit Rodeo, Fucker Bat Happy Time, Bunny Man, Nova's Gone Potty, Walking the Earth. That's the ideal situation. I don't want to stay with anyone. I would want to stay at uh, some cheap motel but I would love to meet someone for drinks, for a literary event. So my email is roxychristmas at gmail.com. R-O-X-I-X-M-A-S at gmail.com. And this would be sometime next year, maybe around the time of my 45th birthday in February or... March, that's my son's spring break. The first or second week of March, I think, is a spring break. So yeah, I'm interested in selling some fucking books already. And I'm just kind of, kind of thinking of uh, New York because I've done San Francisco or San Francisco has done me. I don't really have much interest in going back there to uh, the fucking city lights where you go in and the guy tells you in a snotty voice, there's a paper you have to fill out. It's a process. Oh, honey, I know it is. Not just any motherfucker can have their books on the shelves in city lights. I know that shit. I am well versed. Believe me. So, yeah. Not feeling San Francisco. I am feeling the fuck out of New York. Keep in mind, I am very much an outsider and I'm a native Texan, so I have terrible manners. I don't know how to tip maids or Uber drivers. 
That's an inside joke. I've never hosted Thanksgiving in my life, but now at the age of 44, I am going to host Thanksgiving for my mom and her husband and my sister and her two children and my ex-husband and our son. I'm going to make motherfucking bitch-ass mashed potatoes. Real mashed potatoes, not cauliflower mashed potatoes, but real actual mashed potatoes with milk and butter and salt and pepper and green bean casserole, which is so terribly tacky and Texan and I fucking love it. I'd eat it by the gallon. So green bean casserole with those terrible French onions, those little fried crispy onion things on top. And I'm going to make some kind of big deal spinach salad with dried cranberries and feta cheese. Because I keep forgetting my station. I keep forgetting that I'm just white trash in the North Texas sticks. And what else? What else? My mom's bringing a turkey from Bill Miller's. And there will be hot rolls. And I'm going to make a Mrs. Smith's apple pie. And I'll add cinnamon, of course. And there will be vanilla ice cream. And I will make a pecan pie from scratch. And I'll make a pumpkin pie from scratch. I mean, I'm not going to kill the pumpkin. I'll get the pumpkins out of the cans. And I'm not going to make my own crust. I'm not that damn ambitious. But, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I still live a mostly hermetic existence. The one thing that I pride myself on is that for the past 10 years, I have not missed a single birthday party. I have been at every single one of my son's birthday parties. His 10th birthday party was yesterday. I ordered the cake. And I got the balloons. And the Five Nights at Freddy's plates and napkins. And I went to Dollar Tree and I got gold and black forks and spoons. And I spoke to people. I was a gracious hostess. At one of his birthday parties at Chuck E. Cheese's about three years ago, I was homeless. I mean, I had just left my ex-boyfriend for the fifth or sixth or seventh time. So I was not living in his travel trailer. I was living out of my car. I think I was sleeping on, a, um, on an air mattress in my ex-husband's den in his apartment. But I felt like shit, you know. I was strung out on my codependency issues. Still in love with my ex-boyfriend. It was a bullshit relationship, but I was still strung out on love. Had a love hangover, and I showed up at fucking Chuck E. Cheese's, and I got the birthday cake, and I brought the balloons, and I showed up, and my car was fully loaded down. Everything I owned crammed into plastic Walmart bags. And I was there at Chuck E. Cheese's. And if you know me, you know that Chuck E. Cheese's is kind of like my Vietnam. You know, when I go to the grocery store to get groceries, when I go to HEB, that's the store in San Antonio. It's a Texas chain grocery store. When I go to HEB or fucking Walmart, that's my Vietnam. I like to go in and get out. It is a mission. And all these fucking families, I don't know, for whatever reason, these fat-ass families, they can't just shop alone. Like, you know, one person, one cart. No, it has to be a fucking family expedition where it's the mom, it's the dad, it's their three kids. And one of the kids is in a stroller, and it's just family fun time at the fucking store. And I've got blood and daggers in my eyes because I want to get in, get my little cart, get my little potatoes, my little macaroni and cheese, my little bottles of water, and get the fuck out of there. It's pretty intense. Okay, that's all I got.